Aspen University, CJ100, Ethics in Law Enforcement. My name is Andre Rosedale. I'm the instructor for this course. And this is Module 4, Discussion Question 2, which reads, You are a patrol officer on duty when you stop a car for failure to stop for a red light. When you identify the driver, you realize the person driving is the mayor. You decide to issue her a ticket for the violation. The next morning, you are called into the captain's office, where you are told that you screwed up because there is an informal policy extending courtesy to local politicians. Several nights later, you see the mayor operating her car again, and she is weaving erratically across lanes, exceeding the posted speed limit. What would you do? What if the driver were a fellow police officer or one of your neighbors? Discuss the ethical judgment that must be made, the moral rules that are associated with your position, and describe the ethical system connected to the, state, to the scenario. And I look forward to your answer. Some of it's going to be opinion, but some of it's going to be from the textbook uh, where this topic is discussed. Don't forget a good APA reference, as it would appear on your reference page, and that would be the textbook, unless you find it, find another outside source, which I encourage. If you are in law enforcement, uh, you have seen this before. If you are in just about any workplace, there's always some kind of courtesy, or this guy gets a break. Uh, if you're looking to get into law enforcement, you will see this multiple times. Um, people think that they get favors for knowing police officers or, um, you know, they get favors, they get breaks. Um, law enforcement officers commonly run into each other while conducting routine traffic stops, uh, or working at events such as concert or fairs. And when I see the red and blues in, in my rear view mirror, I get just as nervous as just the average driver, whether I ran a stoplight or I'm not wearing my seatbelt, which I always do, but um, just for any reason, my taillight's out. Um, often by identifying themselves, off-duty and out-of-jurisdiction officers are extended some kind of courtesy by on-duty officers. There's, this courtesy can be considered... Uh, can be considered like a warning for a traffic violation, or it can be better parking or free bar parking, um, like a break here, or you know some advice. Hey, go talk to that officer over there; he'll get you in the back door, and you won't have to wait in line for whatever's going on. So, without exploring all the scenarios where visiting officers may have gone too far with their expectations, because that ha does happen as well. Uh, for example, if you know. An officer is involved in a DUI accident and requests the on-duty patrolman to look the other way. I'm interested in finding out how far you think professional courtesy extends. In my opinion, uh, sworn officers are a gimme, and any spouse that puts up with a sworn officer is too. Children of officers, whether they're in my jurisdiction or they're from out of jurisdiction, um, they can expect that I'll be calling their parents before I do anything. Um, stopped an individual who's uh, father was a Massachusetts police officer, and I did not clear the call until I had talked to that, uh, that Massachusetts officer. I don't live in Massachusetts. Um, so where do you think professional courtesy goes? How far should it extend? Does it go to in-laws? Does it go to cousins? Does it go to a guy I know from the neighborhood? Or, you know, I went to high school with Officer Smith. Where is the line draw? Where is the line drawn? Um, is it blood relatives and immediate in-laws, or is it more? Let me know what you think about that, whether it's experience you have as law enforcement, um, things that you've seen, things that you've experienced, or just things that you, you feel. Where does professional courtesy extend to? I look forward to your response.